Hi guys, and welcome to part two of Let's Play Dynamite Heavy. Um, and last time we left off at Down Under, this wacky stage. Now, as you can see, <laughs> this has like a weird tilty platform system which causes some enemies to nearly poop their pants, so to speak. Um, it contains some weird ball things out, it contains me walking into them, it contains a secret bonus point. Yeah, I know. It contains some killer frogs. Um, basically, it's all about perception. This is kind of like an inception. But, oh god, oh, 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 jeez, oh, everything's going wrong. But yeah, more of a perception y type inception. Um, not much else to say. Oh god, oh, I remember you. Yeah, this is like a little mini boss that you've got to fight. But it's all about, like, trying to figure out where he ow, actually is. Ow, ow, ow. There you go. Oh, and then you got to fight another one. Pretty much the same. And then, you've got to fight another one. <laughs> uh, this is the rest of the game. So if you want to fast forward to about 74 minutes, then uh, we can carry on. Nah, just kidding. Um, here is a jelly bean and a one-up. And that's a scary puppet. Don't really understand the point of the scary puppets. And that is the end of the level. Or is it? I'm scared, I don't know about you guys. Backstage battle! So Trouble Bruin has got himself into another body, and this time it's a giant floaty arm monster. Um, oh god, he throws out weird cat things at you. Oh god, that's the secret bonus point, and I missed it. Um, shoot. That Weird cat with the big green head is a secret bonus point, and I missed it. I hope he sends out another one. Now, when he has a flashing thingy on the screen, then you have to start pressing the button. Because if you don't, you get smacked into the... Oh, God. Oh, can I have it, please? There you go. You get smacked into the ceiling or the floor, and you don't want that. Oh, please, secret bonus point me, trouble. Trouble. Now, the trouble with trouble, if you, you know, don't mind me saying is that you never know how much health he has, so I can't, I don't really feel safe killing this guy yet, because I want the secret bonus point. Oh, whoops. That's what happens if you press the button too soon, you get smushed into the ceiling. Oh god, I need bonus point. Oh, he's not going to do it, is he? Do you only get one chance? Did I really mess it up? Oh, I'm so sad. I'm going to stop hitting him. I'm going to let him do it another two times. This video might be a bit long now, but oh well. I want that secret bonus point and no one's going to stop me. No one. Ow! Not even the ceiling or the floor or anything. So now I have vacuum face. So I can just suck in everything. Ah! Oh! Come on! Secret bonus point me, you bastardly cat! Come on, really? Am I going to lose a secret bonus point just because you can't be bothered? Oh god, no, I don't want that, that'll kill him. Oh, so now you've got to hold down, and then in a few seconds you have to hold up. See, kind of like that. Oh, you're not going to do it, are you? Oh, you horrible man. One more time. Oh, <laughs> I wanted that head case. So as you can see, Headcase kind of tries to help you, but he's a little bit of a, uh, like a tease sometimes. Like, look, I have no safe way of like getting that right now, but I really want it. Yes, I got it. Ah, right. Is this it? You're not going to do it? You're not going to do it, are you? Well, then you die, Trouble Bruin. Sorry. And I lost a, a secret bonus point, so I guess this won't be a perfect run. Oh well. If you guys want the secret bonus point, you just have to get that giant green cat head thing. Um, well, I can't really hide my disappointment, to be honest. I thought I was going to do better than this, but never mind. Um, oh god, where did my notepad go from yesterday? One sec, guys, I just need to look for my notepad. Um, okay, so apparently I did not save the notepad that I wrote yesterday, so I can't actually remember what number I wrote down. Um, I'm going to have to watch my own video, I guess, but for now, let's get the next thingy, whatever it is. Right, what do I need to do? Make... 10 shots. See, so it gets... I don't know if it gets plus in fives or whatever, but it gets harder as the game goes on. 
I don't really know if there's like oh sugar every ball in the world. I don't really know if there's like a limit to how many balls you can hit. Like before the game decides that you've used enough balls and that the game is now over. I don't know. If anyone knows, write the answer on a postcard. I think that's six. Oh god, bombs. Oh god. Seven. Oh, sugar, that was close. That's eight. Oh, that was close. Nine, ten. There we go. Right. Whew. Congratulations. Remember, two. Okay, so, two. <laughs> Why is my notepad? Oh, I'll fix the font later. Anyway, two. I'm actually going to save it after the video this time, rather than just lose it like a douche. And then I'll go and watch my own video and find out what the other number was. I think it was probably zero. Anyway, the battle show. Enter. And this is, like, the creepy part of the game. Now. There's two ways that you can fight this boss, because he is actually a boss of two parts. The top part is like the puppeteer, even though it's also a puppet. The bottom part is the puppet, which is also a puppet. So, you can either... Oh, shh. God, whoa. Whoops. So, you can either try and kill the puppet first. Probably easier, but that's not how I roll. I don't play easy. Yeah. See, but you can also try and kill the puppeteer first. Yeah. Like I'm trying in vain to do right now. Ow. Well, I guess I'm not really trying in vain. I am managing it. I'm also getting my little butt kicked. Oh, sugar, I'm about to die. I'm pretty much sure I'm going to die. Ah, right. So I got the secret bonus point, but then I jumped on him and died. <sighs> Did I not go into that with full health, or am I just terrible? Right, I don't know if I keep the secret bonus point, so I guess I'm going to have to do all of that again. Um, as you can see, my greatest weakness is that I feel the need to jump on an enemy for some reason. So I'm going to try my hardest not to jump on an enemy for some reason. Could blame it on the controller? That would not be cool. It's not the controller's fault, it's me. I'm just terrible at video games. Stop swinging in. Stop it. Why do you not listen? Why? Why do you hit me? Ah! Ah, see? Jumped on him again! Ah, and again! Ah! Ah! Why? Every time I try to jump over him, I get hit in the face! There we go. Oh god, I can't remember what it is! Oh, poo. Right, so he does that. That's his attack pattern. Not too hard as long as you don't get squished against the wall. Seems so who knew that the puppet would actually be more deadly without the puppeteer? Ah, and that's it. Whew! Kinda wish you got another heal after that, really, but now here comes the actual boss! Ah. Oh. Do 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 do. Right, let's do this. So, Clove's Encounter, obviously a parody of Close Encounters, um, but this one has Clove's. Oh, sugar, whoa. Oh no, I don't have time for that. So, as you can see, this is a dragon, um, and Bo points out different areas that you have to hit. And if you hit the ball, then you get to hit her in the heart. Why well, I say it's her. But that's just because I'm sexist. Now, when you, when he or she, I don't really know. When they have jumped off, oh god, 
They turn it into a freaking horrible ballerina thing. Now, this is by far the easiest way of dealing with this one. Um, and then you can hit her in the heart. <laughs> now, I hate ballerina form, but as you can see, this boss actually has very, very little HP itself. Um, unfortunately, it's also quite good at damaging you. Oh, I can't even remember what the hell this one does. Oh, sugar! Oh, god, it does something. I can't even remember where the freaking weak point was. Ah! Oh, thanks, Bo. As you can see, the game gets a little bit confused when there's only a few hits left. Um, now, I could kill it, but I want the secret bonus point, which obviously, as I've told you, every boss gives. Oh, now it's random. She might do it now, or she might go back to one of her other costumes. I think that is all of the costumes, though. Don't be a ballerina. Okay. Actually, that would be... No! Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, God. Yeah, you have to be hit careful not to get... See, the order that you've got to destroy um, the targets is random as well. Come on, get hit, so good. Then she stops spazzing out and runs away. Oh. Right, let's try another one. Don't be ballerina, 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 don't be ballerina. Yes! There we go. <laughs> So that was the bow outfit. And then you get to collect loads of random stuff. Like these two. You've got another try. I got another try. And that's it. So I got three out of four on that level. Um not too bad, but obviously we know where the fourth one was. Um that stupid big green-headed cat that Trouble Bruin had. Never mind, maybe we'll get it next time. Depending on what the next level is, I might just leave it there, or I might carry in. Or I might just listen to Heady go. Yes. yes! Now, oh, obviously this is a key, so Heather, I have been told that her name is, thanks you, or Heady rather, kisses him with a weird cross-eyed grin, takes the key, and buggers off. Bye, Heather. And then you get a little determined music there. Terminate her too. Actually, I'm just going to do this little mini level here. This is quite a fun... Oh god, if you don't get crushed, this is quite a fun little learning exercise. Except, I think one of these gets a secret bonus point. Um... No. There we go, I've got a secret bonus point. Now as you can see, it, each one like knocks over the land a little bit, which then causes these little things to roll about all over the damn place. And if you touch them while they're rolling, you quite obviously get hurt. Right, and that's the little head case there. Right, and then these, if you jump off, you die, so you have to pull this. And then you go behind the scenes. Oh, spooky. So this is where... Oh. Ah, actually. I'm going to take Hammerhead for this. Because here, you fight what in the Japanese version is a terrifying wooden doll. But in the American version, it's a much more sensible giant robot of death. Which, when you use... Oh. Hammerhead isn't actually too hard. It basically tries to punch you and then fires a laser beam with its mouth. I think the US, ver uh, the Japanese version does about the same thing. Now here's some completely impossible to get prizes, unless you have that. Ah, never mind. I was hoping there were more prizes, but there's not. So these are little weird platformy things. Knock them out if you want to proceed, which I do, obviously. As you can see, the little head case things, like, turn around after a few seconds. Oh, whoops. Oh well, who cares. 
I get a bean. Right, let's take Hammerhead again. And then we go back to the regular level. Back to your regularly scheduled level. Ah, I remember these. You, like, thread them, I guess, and make a terrifying, like, little weird bridge thing. Oops. But if you hit them wrong, then obviously you don't really make such a bridge. I thought there was a secret bonus point here, but I can't remember what it is, so I guess I'll just hit this one. And using the bridge, you can get a... Thank you, Heading. Then I'll take this, which I think is like Invincible Head, but I can't really be sure. I can't... Yes, it is. It's Invincible Head. So you can attack, but they can't attack you. Now, with this annoying character, you basically have to try and ah, hit his bombs back at himself. But he's got a shield, so you actually have to stick them on the ceiling like that, and then hope they fall on him. Oh, I remember that being a lot harder. I guess it was just because I was a child. There you go. Now, you can either knock this guy off, like that. So you can... Oh man, what did I just do? Okay, there we go. So you can get this, but then you can also break him in half, because he's a... because he works for... Black Dark Demon Man, whatever his name is. And then you get a secret bonus point. Anything with that little gold medallion on its head is a demon, I suppose. Um, now, obviously, here, oops, you want that. Then you want Hammerhead, so you can knock this. It's a really early physics puzzle, it's not quite Half Life, but it's close. Now, these cause the cards to turn around and become completely defenseless. And that, I just completely mocked up. Because it allows you to jump up there. Ugh, that was close. Oh, for... <laughs> oh wow, well, oh, you could just do it that way, <laughs> like a complete idiot. Oh, anyway, next level. Mad next. Sure, let's carry on. I'm only like 18 minutes into the video. Right, ah, bonus. Great, really looking forward to this one. Oh, 15. Okay, fine, let's do it. Ah, oh, sorry for the silence, I'm just actually concentrating, which is stupid, because it's a mini-game, it should be easy, but it's not! Oh, come on, go through some of the hot dirt! Actually, no, let's, let's play it so Oh, come on, really? Oh! Just do- oh my god, I've only made two shots this whole damn time. Wow, great. Well done. That was close! As you can see, my usual like way of dealing with this is shoot ball like crazy until win game. Nah, come on, go in the holes! No, not that one! That one, as you can see, slows down the game. Which is great if, like, you are good, but I'm not! Oh, come on! Oh! I am terrible at video games. Yay! Yay! Oh, no! No! 
Yay! Okay, maybe I should actually start aiming my shots. Or maybe not. that one. Okay, I guess there isn't a time limit on this then, because I've taken my sweet time. Whew! Can't you wait to see the next level of that? Remember one. Right, so let's put a space here, and then a one. Let's do it! Hex level, go! Well, I mean, same level, go! Right, I'm going to take the upper route, because I'm pretty sure you get a secret bonus point from doing it. Oops. And I just jumped completely around the wrong way. Whoa! Right, this is like the weird level. You get like weird... Oh no, I need to go and get another hammerhead, because I took too long. But that's okay, because I can jump up here quickly this time. Wow! Or apparently I can't, because I can't jump normally. So if you fall down here, you can smack these little hammerhead things. And I think doing so gets you a bonus point if I remember correctly! I can't- oh sugar, no you're not supposed to go through there. That's where you go if you're small. I am not small. I am regular size here. So these are like annoying platforms that I nearly fell from. Um, okay, that's another area that you go if you're small. The annoying thing about these platforms is you never know when you can actually jump off. So that's another hammer thing, so I need to jump up here and get the hammer. HAMMER! Not nice! Let me jump up here, I can't remember what's up here. Nothing's up here, it's just a way to skip what I just did for lazy people. Or smart people, rather. Okay, I can't remember... Ah, uh, there we go. Again, can't remember where the hell I'm going. But, I do know that you can get a 1-up by doing that. Right, let's go... Oh, sugar. Oh god, uh, now I died. I want... All I wanted was another hammerhead. Oh god, come on. Wow, really? Really video games? Oh, I hate that I just said wow, really. There you go, I got a secret bonus point though. That's the main thing. Right, um, I think I will leave it here. This is the next level. That's a good thing you can save in emulators, isn't it? Um, so, <laughs> thanks everyone. This has been Let's Play Dynamite Eddie, I think. My name is Fungus Trooper. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Now to go and watch my own video and find out what the first secret number was. Let's sigh!